Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. They will be talking with Miss Troy University, Brandy White. Brandy, thanks for joining me here today. Thank you for having me. And uh, as I mentioned, you're Miss Troy University uh, and representing the school in the Miss Alabama pageant coming up in June. Uh, first and foremost, just how do you feel about being Miss Troy University? Uh, it's just amazing. Honestly, I've never done a Miss Alabama prelim. So when I came into Miss Troy, I was just, you know, expecting a great experience and getting to know the girls. And when I won, I was just completely in shock. But I'm so excited because ever since I've been here at Troy, I've just loved every minute of it. So it's great to be able to represent the school. Now let's let the folks at home know a little bit about you personally. Uh, a little about where you're from, a little bit of your background. So. Well, I'm from Dothan. I graduated from Dothan High in 2012, so I'm only a sophomore. But my major is elementary education, so I love little kids. <laughs> and um, I've danced my whole life, so that's a big part of me is my dancing. And I really want to integrate that in some of the school systems here. And that's what my platform's about, okay. which is transforming lives through the arts. And so, and that you mentioned that's your platform. And so uh, you're obviously going to try to help incorporate the arts and the areas you mentioned. What are some of the ways you're, you're hoping to, to, I guess, build on your platform uh, during your reign as Miss Troy? Well, I've currently partnered with the Boys and Girls Club here in Troy, and I'm gonna start teaching some dance classes after school just to get the kids up and moving, you know, not glued in front of the TV screen and just teach them some of those things and hopefully at the end of the year have a little show for their parents to come see and it just really gets the kids having a lot of confidence and really makes them feel great about themselves. And I'll say, and, and there are obviously benefits to incorporating the arts and, and what are some of the other benefits that they may, they may see out of that? It just really, some kids, I know when I was younger, I was really shy. I was a leg hugger for sure. <laughs> and so once I got into dance, it just let me be able to express myself, not just through dance, but even just break out of my shell. And I really hope I can do that with other kids in the community. And you talk about dance, that you're a dancer. Obviously that was your talent uh, at yeah. Miss Troy. And so obviously you're showcasing your talents. Now, are you gonna keep your talent as uh, dance as you move on to uh, the Miss Alabama pageant? I am. I'm going to be dancing, but I think we might change up the song, do a little bit different choreography, just step up my game a little bit mm -hmm. for, you know, the state level, but I'll still be dancing. And now this is the first time you've ever participated. You, this was the, Miss Troy was the first preliminary, so obviously this is the first time you've been in the Miss Alabama pageant. Uh, what are your expectations for going into the pageant? I'm just, I'm completely in awe of it right now because <laughs> it, it seems like it's so far, but it keeps getting closer and I'm just so excited to meet all the great girls and I'm so excited to go with all the girls that are already going from Troy. And of course now, uh, the preparations obviously have started for for the Miss Alabama. What kind of process goes into getting ready for a pageant like that? It's so much more than anybody thinks. I know it's more than I thought, but it's so much fun. My directors are so great. They've helped me every step of the way because at first I was kind of scared, you know, but I've already gotten my dress, which I was really excited about, obviously. <laughs> and then I'm, you know, working with people about just walking and interview skills. So it's really helping me get ready for the Miss Alabama pageant. And obviously uh, you've got to be excited about the chance not only to go to Miss Alabama, but to represent the school uh, in the ways that Miss Troy usually does. And, and that's another element that I think that you probably, you, you're probably ex ex excited about being a part of. Oh, definitely. I know the main reason I wanted to be Miss Troy is, you know, to be Miss Troy first off, you know, because I do love this university and I just, I'm so passionate about it. I just think that I was the best person that I could do it. And I'm so blessed that I got the opportunity to. And of course, uh, now the Miss Alabama pageant is in June. So you've got a little bit of time between now and then, but obviously, uh, I would think that you'd hope that a lot of folks would might come up there and uh, cheer you on up in Birmingham, right? Oh, definitely. I'm a five new here at the university and all the girls are already t talking to me about getting tickets <laughs> and stuff. So I'm so excited to have a, my own little cheering section. And so now uh, if, you know, if you go to Miss Alabama and win Miss Alabama, there's a chance to move up to Miss America. Would you, is that something that you that you put in your mind and considered at this point, or, or are you just waiting on that? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I've definitely thought about it because when I do something, you know, I go 110%, so, you know, that's always an option, and it would be amazing, and I know there would be even more preparation, but just, you know, whatever God has been playing for me, I'm ready for it. Well, uh, good luck uh, with the pageant, uh, the, the Miss Alabama pageant, and getting ready for that, and, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you around town representing Troy University in the time being. Thanks for joining right, me today. Thank you.